Talking about these movies is seriously making me so giddy. I cannot wait to watch these this year. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel for another video. I've got a very busy background going on right now. I hope you don't mind. I actually have a new set of lights coming in any day now that have a slower blink. These kind of crazy flashing lights are giving me Stranger Things vibes and I don't know if I'm okay with that in a Christmas video. And yes, you heard that right! This is the first official Christmas themed video of this year and I know half of my audience is probably saying Christmas themed videos already? We just finished Halloween. Don't forget about Thanksgiving! And then the other half probably thinks Yes! Bring on Christmas! I am Buddy the elf of my family! Typically I am somewhere in the middle of those two camps. I really don't start listening to Christmas music, watching Christmas movies, putting out any Christmas decor until Thanksgiving day. But because I'm a YouTuber I gotta stay on with the trends and I love sharing my favorite things. So I'm starting my Christmas videos a bit earlier this year and if Christmas isn't your thing that's okay. I have plenty of other content here on this channel and if you are new I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Natalie and I make lifestyle and mommy videos over here every Wednesday and Friday so make sure you are subscribed and you have those channel notifications turned on so that you don't miss when I post a new video. I am taking requests right now for Christmas themed videos here on this channel. Don't worry, I am not forgetting Thanksgiving. There will be some Thanksgiving videos as well. I waited to drink my coffee for today so that I could drink it with you. This is an eggnog latte and so you grab a snack or some coffee or tea or whatever you like and let's get into this list of Christmas movies that I love. Just like I said I will not be neglecting Thanksgiving and actually the first movie on this list is the first movie that we watch for the Christmas season on Thanksgiving and this movie actually starts on Thanksgiving. Many of you have probably seen it. It is Miracle on 34th Street. Now we prefer to watch the Richard Attenborough version. So the more current version. I guess it's still pretty old but it's not nearly as old as the Maureen O'Hara one um, from the 40s I believe. I should probably just put a little asterisk in here. When I say we I actually mean me and my family. Uh, like the family I grew up in, my siblings and mom and dad. These movies are ones that I watched during my childhood um, and Weston watched a lot of them and now we watch them over at my parents house and at his parents house so this is really drawing upon my experience as a child. But we love Miracle on 34th Street. It is the kickoff to the Christmas season for us. We watch it on Black Friday and the music is beautiful. You got good old Kenny G playing his saxophone during the romantic scenes and Miracle on 34th Street really holds a very special place in my heart. I don't feel like Christmas time has really started without watching that movie. The next movie on my list is a wonderful one and it is The Nativity Story. Now you will see it in my upcoming Christmas videos. Christmas means so much to us because we are people of faith. We are Christians and so we actually celebrate the true meaning of Christmas. Jesus coming down to the earth as a baby, being the savior of the world, and The Nativity Story does a wonderful job of portraying it really close to the biblical account. We don't really see a lot of Joseph in other uh, depictions of the manger story, but seeing how he is portrayed in the Nativity Story movie really is just so heartwarming and it sets a wonderful example for fathers everywhere. Weston and I really love this movie and I'm really excited for when our kids are old enough to watch it with us. Okay, so the next movie is a must watch for me. Uh, I just love it so much. It is White Christmas, Irving Berlin's White Christmas with Bing Crosby and Danny Kaye. It is one of my favorite. It is in my top five. My sisters and mom and I can quote the entire movie and actually last year we had kind of a weird Christmas because we were in moving boxes. Our whole house was packed up and we were not able to do as much traditional stuff as we normally do for Christmas time, but I made sure to watch White Christmas. I was literally packing our master bedroom. It was exciting that we were moving, but I was also kind of sad that I didn't get the normal experience that I do for Christmas time, but White Christmas, watching that movie, 
brought a little bit of that back into last year's Christmas time. Another movie that I love that is an old movie, you will see a lot of old movies in this list, is It's a Wonderful Life. And this is actually Weston's favorite Christmas movie. I love this one and I actually like watching it in black and white. There's just something about watching an old movie in black and white that makes you feel like you're almost stepping into that era and I love history and I love thinking about old eras and everything and actually spoiler alert there may be a historical movie coming out on my channel that's Christmas themed stay tuned for that. Jimmy Stewart and Donna Reed are a fantastic pair and the acting in that movie is like ahead of its time I just love it. Love it so much. And it teaches you so much about being grateful in the stage you're at. I guess I could have taken a note from that movie last year with feeling sorry for myself that Christmas wasn't the same last year. I love the Santa Claus series, except for the first one. For whatever reason, I don't think it's as good as number two and number three, but number two especially is my favorite. Again, my siblings and I can quote the entire movie and my favorite part of that movie is when the chick who goes on the date with Scott starts singing the Christmas version of the Shania Twain Feel Like a Woman. Oh my gosh, the first time we watched that when I was little, we were dying. We literally had tears rolling down our face. That, as far as like newer Christmas movies, funny, silly Christmas movies, oh my goodness, top of my list for that sort of category and then the Santa Claus 3 is hilarious as well and that definitely goes on my top 10 list. Another lovely old Christmas movie that you may not have heard of. Whenever I talk with people my age and bring up this movie it's like no one has ever heard of it but it is one that we have seen so many times. We used to watch it every year when I was little and that is The Bishop's Wife. Cary Grant is in this and I just thought he was the dreamiest guy when I was little. In fact I believe my sister Christina wanted to marry him. You get total 1940s black and white Christmas vibes. There's an amazing ice skating scene and there's this quirky old uh, professor who says some of the funniest like one-liners. It's another quotable movie for my family um, and I just love this one. And then another black and white movie that I absolutely love is Remember the Night. This one has Barbara Stanwyck and Fred McMurray in it. It's black and white. It is so charming and the storyline, the like the love romantic storyline is unpredictable and interesting um, and then it gives just such homey family vibes it's like the whole story is about showing what a functional beautiful home life is like it's very emotional at times but by the end you just feel your heart feels so full now I don't really like Barbara Stanwyck as an actress um, but the two movies that I like her in are actually Christmas movies, the one that I just mentioned, Remember the Night, and then the next one is a funny one. It's Christmas in Connecticut. This movie cracks me up because the character that Barbara Stanwyck plays is like a struggling 20-something woman who lives in an old rundown flat, but she writes a column for a newspaper about this gorgeous home that she has in Connecticut on this rolling farm and uh, it's really funny to see her falsify her life to project a nice image and I feel like it's like that era's version of like big time vloggers. <laughs> no shade to big time vloggers because I know that a lot of their life is authentic although there are some that may not be so much but I will leave it at that. The Barbara Stanwyck Christmas in Connecticut is so funny. There's a really cute baby in it too. It's really funny. And the last Christmas movie in this list is uh, A Christmas Carol. There are lots of different versions of A Christmas Carol, but the one that I grew up watching the most, the one that my family loves, and actually one of Weston's favorite Christmas movies is the one with George C. Scott in it. Once again, we know every line of this movie. It is so dear to our hearts. And this is one of the movies that we watch closer to Christmas. Sometimes we even watch it on Christmas night. It just depends on how many guests my mom has in her home and how busy the holiday actually is. But if it's on the more laid back side, we often bring this movie out and watch it together after dinner. And it's kind of like 
the close to the Christmas season for us. And it's one of my favorites, the costumes, the language, the music, the acting. I mean, it's wonderful. If you guys have not seen the Christmas Carol George C. Scott version, I definitely recommend it. Well, that is the end of my eggnog latte and the end of my top 10 Christmas movies list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and remember to leave your Christmas themed video requests in the comments. I'm thinking about maybe some recipe videos, some decorating videos, homey sort of things, maybe a beauty video. In fact, I actually did this makeup look for my best friend's wedding, this kind of green sparkly look. If you guys would like to see a makeup tutorial on it because this would be perfect for a holiday party or whatever, let me know and I will get that video filmed for you guys right away. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know what you would like to see as far as Christmas holiday themed videos go and I will start putting a list together. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later. <coughs> Many of you have probably seen it. It is yummy, yummy, yummy. Christmas themed videos already. We had. <laughs> Are you stupid necklace? But Heidi, you never get to wear jewelry. Have your time in the limelight. And honestly, Jimmy. What's his name? Hey Siri. Look up IMDb for It's a Wonderful Life. He was already dead by the time she wanted to marry him, but 